So let's do another one of these molecular orbital um, diagram problems and find the bond order. This time let's uh, use molecular orbital diagrams to find the bond order and predict whether H2 2 minus exists. If it exists, write the electron configuration. So H2, 2 minus is what we're looking at. So what have we got? We've got H minus and H minus, right? Because that's H2 and 2 minuses. So when we fill these guys up, we're going to have two electrons, because hydrogen normally has one valence electron. We add an electron to it, it's got two valence electrons. Same thing there. And now we put them into our bonding and antibody number. So what we're really asking, does this molecule exist or not? So we'll fill up like that, like that. So in order to figure out if it exists or not, how do we do that? We figure out the bond order. Okay. So the bond order, one half times the number of bonding electrons minus the number of anti-bonding electrons. Okay, so the number of bonding electrons is two. Anti-bonding electrons is two. 1 half, 2 minus 2 is 0. So the bond order equals 0. So this does not exist, right? Is everybody okay with that? Um, so it also asked us to, well, if it exists, write the electron configuration. Um, let's write the electron configuration for this thing anyways, even though it doesn't exist. Okay, let's just pretend. Um, so the electron configuration would be so sigma 1s 2. So notice how you write this a little different than how you draw the atomic electron configuration. And sigma star 1s 2. Okay, I know it said if it exists, and this does. So does that answer your uh, question about antibonding electrons? Yeah, which, 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 what are those electrons? Pardon? How do you know which electrons those are? Which electrons are which? What do you mean? The antibonding. Which one bonding? So, I mean, do you want to label these 1, 2, 3, 4? Is that what you're saying? Like these electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, and figure out which ones you, you can't do. No, once they get in there, they're all jumbled up, you know? So you can't tell where they came from. These potentially could be these ones here. Okay, and these potentially could be these ones. Or one could be here, one could be here, you know, something like that. So, I, so, I mean, you got, you're not, you know, these electrons just flow around, you know? So they're not in really, you know, any one space, okay? So, it's the top. Oh, the, yeah, so, okay, yeah, the stars are the antibonding, yeah, the ones, so, um, the bond, the bond is, of course, higher, or lower in energy than the antibonding, okay, so, this kind of, is forming, right, so, even here, right, the, the atomic orbitals are even higher in energy, right, so that's why bonds form, because the, uh, bonding orbital is lower in energy than the atomic orbitals, if you want to think about that. So does that answer your question? Okay, sorry, I totally misunderstood your question. Yeah. And your question's answered too. Cool, cool? Okay, good. <laughs>